Welcome back to the, my. This, this, welcome back. This is like the second time I'm filming this video because of the sun, and then when I watched something the first time, you couldn't see it. Hopefully, you can see it now. Um, but it's going. This is going to be my drugstore haul, which is primarily going to be Wet Wild, by the way. And everything here was less than seven. Was seven dollars or less? Just an FYI. But I was going to do a first impressions with the first half of the stuff because I got half of it on Tuesday. But the first impressions video just didn't really work out. I really hope you guys can see me. Um, if not, oh well. Um, what the fuck? I'm sorry, my dog is being weird. But the first impressions just didn't work out. So this is just going to be a haul. And I'll probably do um, makeup tutorials with the products eventually. But not, not a first impression. So we're just going to get into it. I'm just gonna grab the first thing that I see, which is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Makeup Stick Highlight in When the Nude Strikes. Looks like that. Uh, this is what I, the first thing I swatched, and you couldn't see it. Hopefully, you can see it now. Right here, the pretty pinky champagne color. I don't know if you can see it. I, tr I tried. I honestly tried. This here I think was four dollars. So and this is one of the things I got on Tuesday. I'm not gonna tell you what I thought of it. I'll wait to do that until I do the tutorial. So yeah. I mean it's really pretty on the hand. Which I don't think you can really see it. Yeah, I don't think you can see it. So that sucks. Next thing I got was the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Face Primer. And it allegedly refines pores, fills fine lines, brightens complexion, and evens the skin tone. But I did like a small swatch of it when I first got it. It's white cream. And you like massage it in. And it's clear. I don't really know how like it would even skin tone. Of course it's on, so. But it does make your skin incredibly soft. And this was also $4. I just don't see how it's going to even your skin tone, you know, but we'll see. And then I have the Wet n Wild Cover All Pressed Powder in Fair. And it looks like that. And I used to use this all the time. I lie, I used it like once. And I hit pan and it was okay, it's just the contouring palette I always use. The, uh, the powder shade, the, uh, I don't know what color it is. On, in the Wet n Wild contouring palette, it makes my foundation look really orange. I don't know what if it's like the foundation or the powder itself, but it makes me look really orange. So I'm gonna see if it's the powder. But it comes with this little sponge. I've already kind of swatched it on the sponge. That's kind of weird. Ew! Get off. And I jabbed it with my nail. But it's basically like a powdery, pretty fucking white. So hopefully it's it's good enough. I have a bad bad luck with powders. I can get the whitest shade and it just won't even look good on me. Oh, of course, I drop it on the ground. Um, this was only like $4 as well, so. Even if they suck, at least you're not spending a lot of money. But I can't really remember if this sucked, because for the longest I've been using the powder and the contouring palette, so. Now, on to, I have two of these. It's the Wet n Wild, obviously, Mega Last Liquid Cat Catsuit Matte Lipstick. And this is in Nudist Beach. It's a really pretty um, pinky nude. Pinky peach nude. I'm just going to swatch that. Oh gosh. It's right here. As if this helped at all. Is that there? Um. I think I swatched it the first day I got it, which was Tuesday, and it was incredibly patchy, so I hope it goes on the lips really well. And then I got another one, which is also the Katsu Liquid Lipstick by then, and this is in Missy and Fierce, and it's a really pretty, um, ugh, fire truck red. And it's the red swatch. I know these swatches suck because of where I'm at, but oh well. I'm trying. And then next is the Wet n Wild. Wow. 
coverall cream foundation in fair. Ooh. Then maybe maybe these should go along together. Okay, that's cool. I didn't even notice that. And I swatched it on my hand and it matched my skin tone if we're being honest. So I don't like using things with like a pink base or exactly my shade just because it looks weird on me. Oh god, a lot came out. I prefer some uh, foundation with like a yellow base just because I like how it makes more tan. I don't use it like really, really dark, but you know. I don't know if you can see how. Just mixing it in on my hand. I know, nasty, but it's my hand. And it blends in pretty well. So, I mean. I just heard some negative things about their formula, formula for this foundation. So. And then I, I've heard both negative and positive um, commentary about this foundation. It's the Maybelline Fit Me, matte, poreless, normal to oily. Um, I don't know what shade this is. It's natural ivory. And I'm actually wearing that today. And it seems to match on my hand, but when I put it on my face, you can see the line on my neck. And I blended this in with my neck, but you can still see a line. So it's kind of orange. So like I said, I don't know if it's the powder, because this matched, this matched when I swatched it. So I don't know, it could be just the powder. But I mean, other than that, well, when I was putting the powder on, I don't know if it was the brush or if it was even just the foundation, but there was patches, like it was moving the foundation around and I wasn't like doing it hard, like, you know. So, I, and I don't swirl it, I tap it, because you're not supposed to swirl it, but. I'll have to use it a lot more with different powders and stuff and see if that's like the problem. And I didn't swatch that because it also just blends in with my hand. And then we're gonna do the next three lipsticks. And these are the LA Colors Matte Liquid Lip Color. This one is in danger. I swatched this and it was like really patchy, but it was a pretty red, so. The one thing I will say, I don't like the wand. I mean, they bend. I don't know if it's yet. Like it bends a little bit, but like, it's too big for your lips. And I'm gonna use one of these in a tutorial just to show you that they're too big. Um. And on my knuckle right here. I don't know if you can tell it's like patchy in some places. And I know with a lot a lot of lipsticks, it doesn't matter if it's high end or not. When they do dark colors, it's really hard to get the perfect pig pigmentation and stuff. So it's patchy. I understand that. It's easier to do nude and stuff. So and then we have it in suede, which is the first one I got. By the way, these are only two dollars. Only two dollars. And this is I love this one. The only thing other than the wand is that they get a little too dry, but that doesn't really bother me, so. This one is a very pretty color. It's got like a grayish purple undertone, but it's like a nude. And it's this one right here. It's called Suede. I actually used that in the tutorial that, or the first impressions. Um, but of course that video didn't work out, so I will be using this color again, but it is really pretty. They're just incredibly drying, and the wands are too big. And then the next one I got is Vixen, and it's like a peachy pink nude. It's a lighter version of um, Nudist Beach, so I'll do a color comparison when I have better lighting, but it's like, they look almost the same, but this one's a, like a tad bit lighter. And I can tell you right now, like the two lighter ones, they have really great pigmentation and they're not patchy. So it's basically like the dark colors that they have problems with. And it's this one right here. Really pretty. So, yes. And to the last three things, um, I just wanna, before I forget, they have um, a blush and a contour and concealer in the stick form of this. But I'm just gonna go ahead and say I didn't like this, and I'll tell you why when I do a video over it. So I was kind of iffy about getting the blush and all that in a stick form, so I just didn't bother with it. I might eventually, but I was kind of disappointed with the highlight. Like I said, I'll explain when I do the um, tutorial probably on Saturday. Then I got, guess what? It's not Wet n Wild, it's the LA Colors. Um, 
eyeliner pencil in black. Just a regular eyeliner pencil. Um, it is incredibly hard though. Like it's one of those sticks. Ew, what is that on my face? Ew. Um, it was a bug. It's one of those um, sticks, you know, if you'd get it from the dollar store or whatever, and you'd have to like, like get a cigarette lighter and melt it. Melt it, melt it, because it's too hard. And it's not creating enough. But the black is really pretty, so. And I use I use small pencils to tight line, and I use gel liners um, or cream liners to do my waterline. So this is used to tight line, and it kind of hurts, so because I've used it today, and it. And then this is the last Wet n Wild thing. It's the Wet n Wild Lash Renegade Mascara in brazen black, and this is like the coolest packaging I've seen. Just the way it's made. This was seven dollars. This was the most expensive thing. Oh, I haven't been telling you. This was only a dollar. The foundation was like five dollars. This is only like four dollars. The cat suits were only like four dollars. So this is the seven dollar thing I was talking about. And this wand, I'm not wearing it because I got this today. But that's what the wand looks like. It's really weird. And like the little bristles are incredibly small. So I don't know if I'm gonna like it because I prefer things with like thicker bristles, you know? Because I feel like it gets in there more. But I like how it's, it's so cool. I don't know why. I, just, I was attracted to it. Everything else was like so bland. Of course, I'm getting it from like the drugstore, though. It's like so bland. But I just, I really like the packaging, even though it is kind of bulky. So I hope it works because right now I use the Tarte um, Lice Caramel Lashes 4 in 1. I'm gonna run out of it soon, and that's my favorite mascara. So I'm trying to find something to um, replace that. Now on to the last thing. I'm I know like this brow kind of sucks and they're really thick, but I'm really meticulous about my eyebrows and the colors I use because my hair is like fading from my black from the black hair that I had dyed. You know if you watched me when I started my channel, my hair was completely black. Um, and that's like a dark brown, and my natural color is coming back in. But even when my natural color comes back in, which is like a light brown kind of blonde, I will still use only dark pencil. I know with some people, they love dark brows or you hate them. I personally love them on some people. I'm sorry, like on Cara Delevingne, I don't like her brows. I'm sorry, I don't. <laughs> it's on certain people, I like dark brows, but they can be really pretty. But I will only use dark brown. And I was trying to find a really good brow pencil and they were all like light or blonde. I was like, ah, I need a dark and I found it. And this was six dollars. And this is the LA Colors Browy Wowy Brow Pencil in dark brown. This is the spoolie, which is really thick. My other one is not this thick. And then this is so cool. It's angled. It's angled. So it'll fit your eyebrow. You know and just go in like that so I think that's really cool but it feels kind of patchy on my hand maybe that's just because it's on my hand and not on my actual brow oh you can see it it's a dark brown and that's what it looks like like I said six dollars so I'm excited to try it honestly I I'm very meticulous with things that I use for foundation and eyebrows my main things and like I said I will probably be doing a tutorial with most of these things on Saturday so keep in touch with that. Um, thank you for watching. I wish I had more stuff. I was going to get more stuff. I just didn't have the money. But everything here was $7 and under. So pretty cheap. Like I said, if they don't work, at least you didn't spend a lot of money on it. Um, but I'm going to go and I will see you on Saturday. I love you. Have a great day. If there's anything you would recommend from the drugstore, please leave it below as well. My dog keeps looking at stuff, so I'm going to go. Bye. I keep forgetting the fucking stop button.